Yeah. My name is Matthew Howell. I'm the director of tennis at Perry Creek Golf and Racquet Club. What's going on here today is uh, a program called V-Lander on Wheels, which is uh, Matt's V-Lander, former number one player in the world, and his partner Cameron Lickle drive around the country in their RV, and they provide a uh, basically a fan fantasy tennis camp for tennis fans. I am Cameron Lickle. I'm a co-founder and the COO of V-Lander on Wheels. What happened here today, I think we ran uh, the participants or the members of Granada Country Club or Perry Creek Golf and Country Club into the ground. Um, we had uh, eight people in a second session, uh, four people in the first session, and uh, put together by Matt Howell. And basically we've customized drills to every other ball is coming off of Matt's or my racket. And we push participants as hard as they want to be pushed. My name is Heather Logan. I'm from Grenada, Mississippi. I'm here today because WOW is here. It's an awesome team of tennis. You come and learn how to play simple strokes and drills at the net. I've been playing for about three years. It's a great sport and everybody should come out and join. Yes, my name is Mats Vilander. I am from Sweden and I am a professional tennis player. And look up again. And look up again. Well, I, the idea behind Vilander on Wheels uh, to travel around the, the, the North America for about three months of the year is really to, uh, first of all, it's for selfish reasons. Um, I like to meet people, I like to play tennis, I like to work hard. Uh, being a professional tennis player, not much of it you miss apart from some of the competition, I guess, until you uh, realize that what you really miss is the simplicity of the life, which is get up in the morning, play tennis, eat, uh, rest, get up, play tennis, stretch, eat, rest, sleep, get up again and do the same thing. Best part of playing tennis is um, it, keeps you, it keeps you young, right? It keeps you fit and it humbles you in a lot of ways, right? And um, so as long as you can wear a t-shirt and shorts every day, for as long as you can, because at some point everybody gets told that they can't play the game any longer, um, and somehow I've managed to figure out a way to do something that I love every day. It's, um, I don't know, every, everything about it, the idea of hitting the ball, your opponent, uh, the battle when you go out and you compete and making people happy when you're doing this. Um, doesn't really get much better than that. The best part I would say is that it's very physical activity. If you love that sort of thing, you're always moving and you also get to meet a lot of new people. Mm -hmm. We go all around the United States, uh, Canada, and we do the majors, French Open, Australian Open, US Open. Um, we just started recently doing that a couple years ago, so you can come out there if you want to go to the majors, be our guest, hit with us before the matches start, and we have past champion seats. Every major except for Wimbledon, because Matt's didn't win Wimbledon. But he did in doubles, but not singles. Uh, with traveling around the country, also we have started the Matt's Vlander Foundation, uh, and uh, it's a foundation that supports a genetic disease called epidermal bullosa. My son has it, about one in 50,000 kids uh, are born with it. Uh, it's very rare and it's very severe for the worst cases. Uh, and about half of the kids that have it will not make it past 20 years old. My son is, uh, is most probably not life challenging, but certainly life threatening. So we're trying to help people and families that uh, uh, have been stricken with somebody in the family having epidermal bullosa. My, well, so my path is a little bit different for a tennis player. I was a Naval Academy graduate. I served five years active duty in the United States Navy as a nuclear engineer. And I got out to do the dream of professional tennis and played on the tour, or I don't know that you call it the tour in the minor leagues, but I played for two years. And then I met Matt in Sun Valley, Idaho, and he crushed my dreams of professional tennis because this idea is much more fun than grinding it out in Mexico uh, with four dudes in a Holiday Inn. Yes, I turned professional when I was 16 years old uh, and uh, I won my first Grand Slam title when I was 17 years old and I played professional tennis for until I was 32, so about 15 years and um, after, uh, after that I played some senior tennis, meaning the old washed up pros get together and, and hit the ball around and uh, uh, then when I got into my 44th, 45th year we started doing the Lander on Wheels, which is a uh, traveling tennis clinic show, I guess you can call it, not really. We think we're a rock band, but we're not. And we travel around North America for three months of the year and uh, meet uh, uh, great people, and the reward really is to hang out with good people and play tennis. Yeah, I played against, I played against John McEnroe, Jimmy Connors, uh, Ivan Lendl, uh, let's see, Boris Becker, a great German player, Stefan Edberg, another Swedish player just like me. Played against Bjorn Borg a couple of times. Uh, and I've played and beaten Andre Agassi, and I got my butt kicked really badly by Andre Agassi as well. 
and I played Pete Sampras a couple of times and uh, played Stan Smith, if anyone remembers the Adidas Stan Smith shoes. So my career has spanned basically, uh, there's a 40 year difference between the oldest player uh, that I played when I was young and then the age he was when I played Andre Agassi. So uh, I've been very lucky. I started with wooden rackets, then I went to aluminum rackets, then I went to graphite rackets, then I went to bigger rackets. Now I think they're, uh, they're on steroids, all the rackets. So I've seen all of it happen. No, but so doing this, what's really great is that uh, we come in and, and it's new, and it's new for them and it's new for us. They're excited for us to be here. We're excited to be here. So we feed off of each other's energy. So I, I say I have to tip my hat to people like Matt, who uh, are out here grinding it out every day. I mean, doing the same thing, preaching the same things that we're preaching, and we just come in and we try to reinforce exactly what Matt is teaching all of his members and maybe a direct, a, inject a little of adrenaline into the sport. Social events, organizing league matches, special events like VLAN or Wheels that we're having today are just part of my responsibilities. I also teach anywhere from 20 to 45 individual, private, and semi-private and group lessons a week. And we usually go from February, we usually go up until February, until it's just too cold to actually get out on the court and play. So we have a, about a 10 month tennis season here. Uh, here at the Perry Creek, we try to have at least one social mixer a month. We have four NTRP tournaments. We currently have 12 league teams playing out of here yearly and this is our second year for Matt's V. Lender to come. Tennis is a sport that allows you to play people your own ability level and skill level. So a true beginner in the league structure through the USTA, which is the United States Tennis Association, doesn't pair you against people who have been playing for 15 years. You will play on a team with people your own age generally and skill level. So they, it's built that way to encourage you to grow as a group. So you get progressively better with a group of people and you play other people from around the state who are your skill level. So any, there is a spot for any person that wants a racket and a ball and a place to hit. Yeah, well, I mean, as long as you go out with the right attitude, if you're having fun doing what it is that you're doing, if they're, they're, then you always are improving. Um, you can't just go out there and say, okay, I'm gonna play for three hours and not try to get better. Right, it, it, it's the old cliche of quality over quantity is very true here, and um, uh, less is much better than too much. Um, as long as you're having fun, as long as you have a passion for learning, um, it's the greatest thing that you can do. Thank you, Perry Creek Golf and Country Club, for having us here. All right, thank you so much.